Hey, so just got a package from Maga Razors and I have, I'm gonna say, is it Taiga? Taiga by Barrister and Man. It's like a really simple uh, scent for them. It's like some uh, basically woods, I believe. Furs in there, I know, balsam and maybe cedar. I don't remember what the other one was, but it sounded good to me, so. Yeah, simple, clean, nice. I'm looking forward to getting very well blended. Uh, I don't have like a super sharpness from the fur in there. I'm looking forward to using that on Sunday for sample Sunday. And then the big thing that I got in there is from Smoke. I finally got, this is how they wrap them up if you don't know. That's how you know you got a really nice brush. So a long time ago, I had a board in my collection. I had an Omega and it was like a sub $15 Omega. I actually gave it to Clay Brand and Knight because he didn't have any bores. This is very different and I have in my hand. I have the the Smoke Owner's Club in Cherrywood. And I wanted Cherrywood because I live in the Cherry Capital, so it made sense. It doesn't stink as bad as I remember my other bore smelling. But we are still gonna do the the uh Three day cold rinse process. I've been saving my last little bit of Seville, my original Seville in the Excelsior base uh, to use to whip this up. And then I'm gonna stick it in cold water in the fridge for three days and won't my wife be thrilled. But Cherrywood, Owner's Club, Boar Brush, I'm gonna make this an ongoing saga on the channel um, to break this in and use it and see how long it takes to get it to like a really usable point. I wasn't, just wasn't really into that um, Omega Bore, so I stopped using it pretty quickly. Um, you gotta soak it for longer, I know, and this sucker is supposed to just absolutely burst when it gets to the, the proper soak point, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Cherrywood handle, little slicker, nice engraving here with the, with the owner's club in there, yeah. This is nice and see how it fits in. Yeah. Nice. I wasn't expecting it to fit so well into my brush stand, so that's good. And let's try it with my other stand here. Oh yeah, that's gonna work just fine. I was a little concerned about that. Uh, I'm gonna go on a brush buying a hiatus for a while. I got myself the Amber Airlight for Christmas. Um, I have my Yaki Badger. And I have my Starcraft and now this. And if I'm really being honest, I also have my Maggard scent that came with my shave kit, but I don't really use that very often anymore. Um, I might buy a nicer Badger in the future at some point, but for now, I think I have a pretty good mix going and I'm happy with it. So there you go. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll get this bad boy broken in and show you what that's all about.
and get home. Sit down. I'll bring you your food in a minute, okay? right next to the pickles. I hate messing with my stand. Now my angle's off. Okay, anyways, hi, hello, and if you've made it this far into the video, thank you. So, uh, after soaking my new board brush for over 72 hours, uh, I'm finally ready to use it. So, uh, one of the other tricks I, I learned over the years, or the tips I was told anyways, is you take an old t-shirt when you're ready to start using this thing before you use it the first time, and you kind of like hand lather in the cotton t-shirt here. I'm trying to rough some of that up. You can see little bits where the ends are splitting, which is what you want with a bore. Jonathan, my friend Jonathan told me that he likes to do it uh, daily when he soaks his. So he'll soak it and he'll rough it up and then put it back in and then kind of rinse and repeat if you will but that's not what i did so i'm not too it's actually pretty soft it's still a little stinky but it's not anywhere near as bad actually this wasn't as bad as my first one which was that omega that stank this is just a bit gamey, but that'll go away with use, which is what I'm planning to do next. Um, yeah, but that's going to be in another video on another channel. This is just showing you how I broke this in. So if you want to see me actually shave with this, uh, you can go check me out on The Groomsmen, and I'll link that when it's ready in the comments so that you can go and find that. Uh, and you should give us a subscribe over there because... Uh, we're, when we get to 150, and we're right around 100 right now, we're going to do a very special giveaway, which I'm very excited about, um, especially if you're into vintage razors. Um, our giveaways are going to absolutely kick ass on that channel just because of the uh, what razors we can get in and what can be what are, what's a duplicate, what we're willing to give up. So this first one is kind of my idea, and I'm excited about it. And we'll, you'll learn more about that if you uh, subscribe and get us where we need to be at the Grimsman. Anyways, so I'm going to go put take a shower because I need to and put this to use. And we'll catch you next time.